soda pop, soda pop, as it is called, depending on where you come from, is one of the most popular beverages in the world. But there is no denying that soda consumption has negative implications for your health and quitting or reducing its consumption may result in some significant changes in your body and your overall well-being. So in this video, I want to highlight seven things that happen when you stop drinking soda. The first on my list is that you may have better digestion. Now, quitting soda can significantly improve digestion and gut health. Sodas, particularly those that are caffeinated, can disrupt the digestive system in several ways. Caffeine is a natural diuretic, or what we usually call a water pill, which means that it can make you pee more often, and this can lead to dehydration, which is detrimental to your digestive health. Dehydration can cause constipation and make the digestive process less efficient. Furthermore, the high sugar content in sodas can also negatively impact gut health. Excessive sugar intake can lead to an imbalance in the gut microbiome, which is the collection of healthy bacteria that resides inside the gut. Now, these bacteria play a crucial role in digestion, uh, nutrient absorption, and even sometimes immune function. An imbalance in these bacteria can lead to digestive issues such as bloating, such as gas, and irregular bowel movements. Additionally, the acidic nature of soda can irritate the stomach lining and exacerbate conditions such as GERD or gastroesophageal reflux disease, leading to symptoms such as heartburn and indigestion. By quitting soda, you can rebalance your gut microbiome, reduce stomach acidity, and improve overall digestion. Number two, you may have more energy and focus. The relationship between soda consumption and energy levels as well as mental function is quite complex and often misunderstood. Now, while many may tend to soda for a quick energy boost thanks to its caffeine and sugar content, this can be counterproductive in the long term. The sugar in the soda causes a rapid spike in blood glucose levels, providing an immediate surge of energy. However, this is usually followed by a sharp drop, you know, what we normally call a sugar crash. This cycle of highs and lows can lead to overall energy depletion and mood swings and can affect both physical and mental performance. When you stop drinking soda or when you reduce the quantities, you allow your body to escape this cycle of highs and lows. Your blood sugar levels become more stable, avoiding the rapid spikes and crashes caused by this high sugar intake. Fluctuations in blood sugar can impair cognitive abilities such as memory, attention, and even sometimes decision making. Now, by maintaining a more consistent energy supply, your brain can perform more efficiently, leading to better focus, clearer thinking, and improved concentration. Number three, weight management and obesity prevention. Soda is high in calories and sugar, which can contribute to weight gain and obesity. By cutting out soda, you can reduce your daily caloric intake and lose some pounds along the way. For example, a typical 12 ounce can of regular soda contains about 140 to 150 calories, all from sugar. Now, to put this into perspective, burning these calories will require about 30 to 35 minutes of brisk walking or about 15 to 20 minutes of cycling for an average adult. Now, the implications of these figures become even more pronounced when, con when you consider a habitual soda consumer. If someone drinks one soda can daily, they consume an extra 1,050 calories weekly, which can lead to a weight gain of approximately one pound every three and a half weeks or so. That is, if these calories are not compensated for through either physical activity or dietary adjustments. Over a year, this can result in gaining over 14 pounds, assuming all other factors remain constant. Number four, you may have stronger bones. Now, when you give up soda, particularly the ones containing cola, one of the significant benefits you might experience is the potential improvement in bone health. Now, this is particularly relevant because of the presence of a compound or a chemical called phosphoric acid in many cola beverages, which has been linked to changes in bone health. Phosphoric acid can interfere with the body's calcium absorption, which is a vital mineral for bone strength and density, as we all probably already know. Now, calcium is essential not just for maintaining strong bones, but also for their growth and repair. When your diet is high in phosphoric acid from sodas, it can potentially lead to a decrease in calcium absorption, raising the risk of osteoporosis, which is a condition which is characterized by porous and fragile bones. Furthermore, the high sugar content in sodas can also have a negative impact on bone health. 
excessive sugar intake can lead to higher levels of inflammation in the body, which in turn can affect bone density. Number five, the obvious one, you may lower your risk of diabetes. Quitting soda can significantly reduce the risk of developing type 2 diabetes, primarily due to the high sugar content in these beverages. Sodas are typically loaded with added sugars, such as high fructose corn syrup, which rapidly increase blood sugar levels. When consumed frequently, this constant spike in blood sugar forces the pancreas to work over time to produce insulin. Over time, this can lead to insulin resistance, which is a condition where the cells do not respond effectively to insulin. So you're producing insulin, but the insulin is not able to do exactly what it is supposed to do. Now, this will mean that your body will progressively have to produce more and more insulin to take care of even the smallest amount of carbs that you consume. Insulin resistance is obviously one of the key risk factors for developing type 2 diabetes. Now, let's take, for example, a single 12 ounce can of regular soda can contain up to 40 grams of sugar, equivalent to about 10 teaspoonfuls. Regular consumption of high sugar drinks leads to persistent high blood sugar and insulin levels, straining the body's ability to regulate glucose effectively. By quitting soda, you can significantly reduce your daily sugar intake helping to maintain more stable blood glucose levels. This reduction in sugar load eases the burden on the pancreas and can help prevent the development of insulin resistance and subsequently type 2 diabetes. According to a meta-analysis of 11 studies, drinking one or two sugary drinks per day increased the risk of developing type 2 diabetes by 26% compared to drinking less than one drink per month. Number six, you may improve your dental health. Now, quitting soda can lead to substantial improvements in dental health. The primary culprits in soda that harm teeth are sugar and acidity. When you drink soda, the sugar it contains interacts with bacteria in the mouth to form acid. This acid then attacks your teeth with every sip of soda that you take. Now, these ongoing acid attacks weaken tooth enamel, which is the outer shell of your teeth, making them more susceptible to decay. Moreover, soda itself is acidic. Even sugar-free or diet sodas contain acids such as phosphoric acid, citric acid, and carbonic acid. These acids contribute to the erosion of tooth enamel, making the teeth more vulnerable to cavities. Over time, this enamel erosion can lead to significant dental issues, including cavities, tooth sensitivities, and the ultimate tooth loss. Soda may also stain your teeth and make them look yellow or brown. So by quitting soda, obviously you can protect your enamel and also prevent discoloration of your teeth. Number seven, lower risk of heart disease. The connection between high sugar intake from sodas and the risk of heart disease is increasingly evident and concerning. One of the primary issues with high sugar intake is its impact on weight gain and obesity. Now these conditions are well established risk factors for heart disease. The excess calories from the sugar in soda can lead to the accumulation of body fat, particularly around the abdomen, which is closely linked to cardiovascular problems. By cutting out soda, you reduce your calorie intake, which can help in managing your weight and reducing the risk of obesity-related heart disease. Sugary sodas also contribute to the development of unhealthy lipid profiles. They can lead to an increase in triglycerides and harmful LDL cholesterol, the bad cholesterol, while also lowering the beneficial HDL or the good cholesterol. Now, these changes in blood lipids are significant risk factors for the development of coronary artery disease. Additionally, the inflammation and oxidative stress caused by high sugar levels can damage the lining of the arteries, leading to atherosclerosis, a condition where plaque builds up in the arteries, narrowing and hardening them. This obviously can lead to reduced blood flow and the potential for heart attacks or strokes. I sure do hope you found some value in this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for staying through. Stay blessed and catch you on the next video.